Well, alright then, welcome back to Strafe. Um, our last run was kind of ridiculous, if I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, let's go machine gun this time. So our last one was... Well, it was ridiculous in that we made it to the final boss. Which, yeah, after a whole lot of runs of not even getting out of the second level, then all of a sudden it's like, hey, here's you know the very end of the game. That was a little unexpected. Um, we naturally couldn't beat the final boss because we had no idea what we were in for, and I think I know now how to beat the final boss, but I'm not going to pretend even that's a guarantee. Uh, I think we were we were on the right track, you know, with how we were approaching it, but yeah, you know, it's not a guarantee. That wasn't gonna work. That was a little too close quarters for uh, for shooting a rocket in their faces. That is something that you want to do at various points, you know, if you have the opportunity. But it's a little too tight, you know. I feel like a lot of our troubles were self-inflicted damage you know, over the last couple of runs. Um, and so, you know, you don't have to necessarily be, you know, conservative and too protective, but, hello, uh, just, you know, doing things to kind of minimize how much self-damage we take, I think that alone will be a huge asset in, you know, getting, getting wins. We have enough scrap, let's... Run back real quick. Also being a little more aggressive with, like, movement and just trying to go around a little faster. Not a... you know, don't have to be going a ton faster, it's... You know, better to be safe than sorry and all that, but... You know, this is a Quake-inspired game. We have to remember that. Quake-inspired means gotta go fast. At the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do. It also means a lot of bunny hopping. Why am I not bunny hopping? Seems one of the great mysteries of our age. Also, how did that grenade not kill both of you? Well, you killed one of them, and that was expected and desirable, but didn't get them both. Yeah, here's squishy guy. Um, there's a there's a pickup container in, down here, so I want to do this. Okay, that was awful. That was just embarrassing on so many levels. I need to find every bit of scrap possible now. Um, that was just me being terrible and causing us to take a lot of shield damage. No actual like health damage yet, but really messed up our shields. Is that everything? That sounds like everything. And there's food. So we're actually going to get overhealed, because we got so much. 407, not a great time, but... Well, it's not par, but it's pretty good. Uh, now, we also figured out a couple of the game's secrets, uh, in terms of just how secret chambers are laid out. I think that hunting helped a ton, because, you know, those offer up... HP and armor. And you know, that's very necessary. 
That's not a, uh, a fuse box, so no reason to shoot it. Uh, so we're looking for for those. I haven't been very thorough about it yet. This might be a good time to do so. You know, because we are now out of armor. And, uh, we could use all the resources we can get. So I'm not doing a whole lot of secondary fire right now. Even though... I hate you. I hate the acid spitters. I will always hate the acid spitters. It is a long-standing personal malaise. What is this? Is that clip? I should also actually learn what all those power-ups actually are. That's damage. That's the easy one. I'm trapped in a corner. That didn't go as nicely as I had hoped. Um, I want to know what destroyed... Oh! Huh! Random generation destroyed it. And it spawned a fire right there. It also means I'm not going up there. Like, I don't care what's up there. I know... The future is not up there. You know, the future is here. The future is now. So I'm not going to, like, freak out about not being able to get up there. Um, I'm, I'm, like, actively looking for the secret panels now. Alright. We can't have another run where I die 15 minutes in, and then go to a second one because I died 15 minutes in. And then it lasts just forever. We can't be doing that. Um, that that one felt a little shallow. I can see why that didn't work out according to plan. Kaboom. 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 There is HP over there. How are you not getting exploded by the explosions? This is maybe my biggest annoyance with the grenades. They just don't hit what I want them to. Alright, little bit of HP. That's appreciated. Um, we're gonna have to go down there, so first... Let's gather this scrap and do some Liftenstein. Uh, there are a couple of other, you know, minigame things sprinkled throughout the later levels. I haven't played any of them yet, partly because their unlock criteria is more complex. This one is just, like, know that the opening cor corpse, rather, has the token on it. And once you know that, it's, like, very easy to get. Other ones, like, you have to see this, you know, disappearing drone thing and you have to hit it enough times for it to drop a battery and then you have to notice the battery and it's like it's a process so what have you got for me please tell me it's food 
it's not food. Um, so we're not screwed, but we're not in the most advantageous position. They were stacked. Alright. Now they should only be approaching from one direction, so... We'll use that boy band to our, our advantage. I don't know where... Like, what angles you were working with there, but... Headshot, headshot, headshot. Those definitely make it a lot easier to do what we need to do. Good. So there is a crafting table and we have not enough to do a full armor suite, but we can do a lot of armor. Hello? Uh, but I'm still looking for secrets here. I'm still trying to find the secrets. Um, oh no, we can do full armor. We can do full armor. We are good. I mean, I'm going to use up that that rocket launcher, but oh well. Hello. We're back to full armor now. That's really where we needed to be. So yeah, this looking up is partly for these jumpers and partly for the, uh, the fuse boxes. Because now, like, if we find one and it's armor, I would be disappointed. If we find one and it's health, I'll be elated. Um, there's a shop, so we are done here. And we didn't find the, uh, we didn't find the bug. So we didn't find the experimental weapon. Could try just like throwing a barrel wherever and hoping, but not really worth it. So, what have we got? Stomping on enemies damages them, lowers secondary ammo cost, shoot to heal or alt fire to throw. You know what? We're gonna do this, and then how much scrap for 15? Alright. Um. How do I use that thing that I just bought? Uh, we're gonna stomp these guys. Um, that's the map. I hate to do this. I'm going to pull up the controls. Try to figure this one out. Um, item is Q. There we go. So, yeah, heal me. Ever so slightly. Um, we're just going to keep doing that. Until we use the item up. So that was a very slow, slow floor. I acknowledge that. Uh, wasn't really what I was hoping for with that. Um, but, you know, we got kind of penned in here and there, and it took a lot of health from us. And surviving is kind of more important than going fast. Um, I know there are certain hedgehogs who would, you know, starkly disagree, but... That's why we went to the shop. That's why we spent our scrap. That is going to be so annoying. But here's one key card right away. And 
And what is this? Railgun? Righto. Now we're going fast. Press action to rip off. Head. Oh, right, right, right. Because that's how we do this next bit. Um, that's another head. Um, all looks quiet now, so. Got all this. There we go. Um, I am really glad I got that. I got that. Because stomping on the enemies feels fun. Uh, not the most... Not the most sensible approach overall, but... It's the wrong face. I wasn't aware there was a wrong face. That's disappointing. Also, the lack of scrap is disappointing. Um, there's nothing up here to gather any, so we carry on. Gotta go back and find the right head. Oh, this one? I don't know. I don't, I don't know if there's a way to tell. You know, before going up here and just seeing. Nope, wrong head. Man. This is a little annoying. Um, the fact that there are multiple and only one of them is right. If if it were easier to tell like which one if it, it probably like if I look at this and look at what the screen is displaying, it'll be totally obvious, you know, in all likelihood, but Oh yeah, it's a relatively close match. So, okay. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Alright, let's run. There was an upgrade station last floor and I didn't use it. I feel like such a dope for that. You know, it was, it was right there. Oh, sheesh, there's another? Oh. Oh. Don't come at me with that grenade stuff. Like, that's not how this is supposed to work. That's not the arrangement we had. So now we have a decent amount of scrap. What is this? I don't remember what any of these signals mean. They are, like, consistent. Like, this is always the same thingy. They're mines. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that, to be perfectly honest. Uh... We're a hundred scrap short. Um, you know what? We're going to uh, we're going to revert that when we when we go back to the station, and we're going to go back to the station because like this is just too precarious. of a health situation.
Come on, tell me that got the turret. There we go. And we have now enough scrap to go back and get some armor. Again, this floor is starting to go slow. It is. Uh, let's see. Revert to original firing mode. Oh, we get some scrap back for doing that. I probably knew that. I probably should have paid a little more attention. Um, we're also going to need ammo. Um, so we could, again, use even more scrap. It's, it's almost as if it's the currency of the game. Who knew? Uh, let's head up this way. Still looking for those fuse boxes. You know, for uh, a secret place. I think the uh, the mine exploded because we reverted back. So now it's just like mines are not a thing that can exist anymore. Okay, there's a little bit of food. Working on my burst firing here, it's it's essential for us, really. That's a dead end. Up here is probably a dead end. Up here is a bunch of scrap and a pistol. We already had the pistol, so that's kind of a whiff. Pfft. Goodbye. Um. So, yeah, pistol again. The end is going to be right down this way. A little money. Missed. All right. And there's another vent turret over there, so that sucks. Yeah, we're low on ammo. I know we're low on ammo. So we'll take alternate approaches when necessary. Nope, that's not... That's not where the... Where the turret is? That's where the turret is. all the enemies and yeah we're at the end another relatively slow floor um, and we're rel we're pretty low on ammo like noticeably low uh, so we're gonna have to uh, be a little careful here because scrap machines in Black Canyon do not exist until the end of a floor. <clears throat> or excuse me, an end of, the end of a room. So we're going to go damage up even though... Oh no, it is one of our lower stats. Not the lowest, but... It is kind of low. Alright, let's do this thing. No ammo in there. Thing is, with our uh, our stomp boots, we always have an option. Yeah, you melee, I melee. Um. That is one thing, like, as we progress in this game and get better, there is a way to play the game in melee. Uh, you can play the game just without a gun at all. It's kind of ridiculous. You kind of have to be good at the game. So we're not going to do that for a while, but that is something that exists. 
and that you can do. All right, found a rocket launcher. I appreciate that. Um, do we have any other? Okay. So that fills that out. More ammo. Those rooms were just really helping me out. I, I appreciate them. Now, if only one of them could tell me where we're going here. Uh, yeah, that's where we started. It was right here. How did I not... Wow. Like, I thought I headshot that thing multiple times. But I guess we didn't. Um, or are we weaker than I thought? Yeah, I knew you were right here. Luckily, we uh, we had leftover grenades. That's overkill. To send a rocket at one of these things. Absolute overkill. How are we not doing enough damage with those things? Uh, another brick. go. You really have to bring out the big guns to deal with bricks, which usually means you're hoping that you have big guns that you can bring out. Well, we've got... Yeah, how are we not killing these things with any modicum of speed? Of that without it exploding. Um, that, I think, opened up a secret. Um, so I think that is the equivalent of a, uh, a fuse box in this world. Problem is, I don't know where. I don't know where it was. So, I mean, it does us no good to open up a secret if we can't find it. Couldn't have been that far. I don't know, maybe it's past the wall. So, we'll go do that step. Oh, damn it. Blast and dam. Whew. We are in a rough spot here. That almost didn't work out. That worked out. Really? Really? It's gonna require that many shots. And you're not gonna show me where the secret was. Well, we are in a rough spot here, for sure. Luckily, we can get full armor. And not full HP, but a reasonable amount. Uh, we are not going to take any... Well, I, no, we'll take a little bit of ammo. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can you can knock all you want, but you can't come in. So I don't know, maybe I'm wrong about those things being the uh the gateway to the secret. I don't know, I really thought that's how we uh how we got those. That's just a lava pit. Yes! That was a snipe. That was just a straight up snipe. And you don't see many of those in this game. Come back here. Ah, oh, man. You baited me. You diabolical droid. So that was the thing that will get you this floor's secret. Oh, I had to shoot it in the head, didn't I? After all was said and done. Oh, man. And of course, enemies don't mind the yellow acid at all. So, I'm the only one who has to deal with this crap. Um, I picked something up. Okay, Are you guys taken care of. Remember, bunny, alt fire. Alt fire can be your friend. As long as you don't blow yourself up. Uh, which does happen. This just went in a circle. Still looking for any more, uh, any more of those secret triggers. We're gonna keep operating on the assumption that I had the trigger right and I just didn't find it. Uh, what is... Oh, this is the plasma gun. Plasma gun is cool. It's a little slow firing, but it's cool. Um, what do we got here? The nail gun. That's a, a nice new sight. Alright, got him in the body. Harvesters explode in blood. Like, part of the, uh... Part of the bug report that I sent to the devs, based on the last video, there's one moment where there's just this massive explosion of blood. And I'm like, this had to be more than you were intending, right? Like, I get it and all, but this had to be a bit much, right? And uh, I haven't heard anything back, so I have no idea. But I, I've, I have a feeling like their whole sentiment with the game is like, there's there's no such thing as too, like, too much blood, what's that? Uh, let's see. We can get a teleporter part. Can't quite afford regen yet. Um, is there a, a currency thing? No. So let's see if we can get just a little more money. That's all I'm asking for here. Just a little more. Um, it doesn't really look like it. Because harvesters will have scrap, but they won't have money. Um, and there's nothing up here. Oh, I took fall damage from that. Come on. Come on. Um, so you know, we'll take the teleport apart. And we will hope. 
We will not shoot you, dude. Because our HP is kind of poor. Um, although we are done with the level, so we'll heal up a little bit. Let's do that. 73 and 50. Not the best, but it'll do. Uh, we're also running a completely stock machine gun because I forgot about the first upgrade station. Just entirely. Which, you know, entirely my fault. Uh, you know, kind of ruined it for us, but... That does mean that what we got is going to be it for a little while, because there aren't weapon upgrade stations in the Black Canyon. They just, they don't happen. Uh, they do show up in the burbs. We've seen them there. Uh, can I snipe you with a pistol? Apparently not. But something killed you after the fact. Did I... Did I luck out with the weapon throw? Because... If so, that wasn't luck. That was incredible skill. That was, you know, top tier esports play. Um, crate. Crate has an accuracy boost. What do we got as far as explosives go? We have a rocket launcher. It kind of felt like I did have a, a successful hit there, but... I don't know. I'm not really in a position to, uh, to question all that much. That spawned upside down. So we can't use it. gonna come up that way, which is a poor decision on your part. Um, yeah, let's stick to having the machine gun out. And I swear we had, yes, a scrap box in the vicinity. Retro rockets. Where did, where did they go? Where did they go? They were here and then they were gone. Retro rockets! Come back! They might have like, just like fallen through the floor or something. I don't know if that's a glitch or just evil, but... Whatever. Um, retro rockets aren't nearly as nice as double jump, though, so... At the end of the day, it's not the worst thing to not have them. Ah, uh, That acid spitter. Alright, 32 clips. We are pretty good on primary ammo. Pretty good is not perfect, but it's pretty good. This feels like... Uh, uh. When, when you start noticing that you're getting hit, just run. You know, sort out the situation later. Are you, you're really hitting me. Stop it. Rocket launcher again. Very nice. What the? Thanks to God? Wow. That had that had to have been the uh, the plasma rifle. Um. I guess it made a little explosion or something. I don't know. Um. 
That was a little disappointing, though. We were, <clears throat> we were doing pretty good. Uh, but hey, I did say early on in the episode that it's self-damage that's ruining these runs, so there you go. Um, and also, I'm apparently God, so wahaha. Um, <clears throat> but either way, that will do it for this episode. If you enjoyed, a like would be appreciated. Subscribe doubly so. But either way, ta-ta for now.